What is up, internet? I am back after a year and a half, and today I got a video for you how to modify your DJI controller to handle regular gimbal sticks. In my case, they will be the TVS Honey Sticks. So, as you see, I already have the sticks on here. These are the uh, TBS Honey Sticks, and that's what this works with, this modification. I can't speak for other gimbal ends as far as they go. And the reason why I modified this controller is because I am a pinching style pilot. Actually, hybrid, if you want to be technical. But um, the gimbals that come with this controller are very small, and they're very short. So I'll show you the difference in length real quick, just so you guys can have a comparison. And this modification, you could actually make these as long as you want, depending on the M2 screws that you use. I'm using uh, M2 by 25 millimeter button heads, and uh, that's the perfect length for me. But as you can see, the difference is pretty big between the uh, modified version and the stock version. Let me turn this light on for you guys, my apologies. So this is the modified version on your right, and this is the stock gimbal on the left. And um, being that these are miniature sized gimbals to begin with, they have a very short throw with these uh, small gimbal sticks. Now, with the laws of geometry, when you put longer gimbal sticks, that gives you more throw because the top of the stick has a further distance to travel, which as a pinching pilot, it makes you much more accurate with the longer sticks, gives you um, more travel and uh, makes for more accurate flying. So let's get started. The way these sticks, are the way this gimbal is designed is it's proprietary for DJI, which they do that all the time because they don't want you using other people's stuff. But it's opposite of most gimbals, as it has a female has a female attachment for your gimbal sticks as opposed to a male that you see on most other transmitters. Like this is my old X9D. As you can see, it has the male uh, gimbal sticks, and these are M3, so they're far thicker than the ones that come for the DJI controller. And obviously, you wouldn't be able to use these stock with these um, with this controller. So what you're gonna need is all right so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a M2 by 25 millimeter button head screw for each gimbal so you're gonna need two of these you're gonna need two M2 washers okay you're going to need 12 of these two mil M2 brass standoffs. These come with flight controllers, mini flight controllers all the time, so most people are gonna have these lying around. But if you don't, just go on Amazon and they come in packages of like 150 of them or something like that for like $5. I've had these for over a year since when I was in the hobby originally, so I don't have um, a number for you or a link but uh, if you search M2 brass standoffs, these will come right up. So you need six of these for each gimbal and one screw and one washer for each gimbal. Now, these TBS Honey uh, gimbal sticks, they come with the top piece and the stem piece. You, can't, you cannot use the stem piece on this controller because of the throw. Like I mentioned earlier, the throw is um, limited. You have a very small uh, female M2 uh, connector here and as you see the connector itself hits the gimbal housing on top and bottom where it maxes out and on the sides so if you use this stem it's going to limit your throw because the stem is going to hit the gimbal housing well before the inner piece does so you cannot use this but it's not important you don't need it so the process is like this. I figured this out by pure coincidence because I wanted to try to change these gimbals. And the way this button head 
fits into the top of this honey stick. You slide it through the top, and as you see, it bottoms out at the top of the stick, so it locks in place. But being that it's so much thinner, as you can see, there's a lot of play in there, which obviously is no good. So also, by happenstance, I figured this out. If you use these little M2 brass standoff pieces and you screw them on, like so, I'm gonna speed up real quick. You put three of them. Maxed out on the top here, okay? And what that does is, that is the exact distance or the, or the length of these honey sticks. So then, when you slide it through the top, like so, there is no play. Very little play, but that play is eliminated with the next step. The next step is you take your washer, okay? You put your washer on there, like this. And once the washer is there, you take your fourth standoff screw and you screw it on like so. And now when you're doing this, use uh, Loctite. That way it doesn't loosen up on you. For the purposes of this video, I am not. Then you take your M1.5 screw uh, driver and just use a pair of pliers and a 1.5 wrench and just cinch it in place. For the purposes of this video, I'm not doing it. But once you do that, obviously this fourth uh, standoff spacer screw or nut locks the spacer into place and that's it. It's solid as a rock now. And you have the proper M2 male side to go into your gimbal. But before you do that, put two more of these on. And you do that, I guess, not only for aesthetics, which it does work out nice aesthetically, it almost looks like it's meant to be, but also, so when you screw on this uh, gimbal stick, you don't over screw it and uh, screw up your gimbal electronics. So this way you have about, I don't know, maybe five millimeters of thread here, which is more than the stock, which is about two millimeters, three, but it still has plenty of uh, play in here to screw this in without damaging anything. So this is what you got in the end. That's what it looks like. Make sure you thread lock this all the way through, but don't get thread lock on this part of the screw. So I would suggest putting thread lock on the top of the threads as you screw it on. That way you don't get any thread lock on this part of the screw. And then once that's done, they screw right in. That's it, it's that simple. And once they're screwed in, you'll see, like I mentioned earlier, with the size of this housing, the stem does not interfere with the throw of the gimbal stick. So by doing this, I made this DJI controller feel very similar to the Tango 2, which is where I was coming from. It's got the same ergonomics. I wish I still had the old controller so I could put them side by side. I'm sure somebody's done it already. But with the longer gimbal sticks, it is much, much better for uh, pinching style pilots. So if you're looking to integrate everything the way I'm doing with the DJI system and you want to use the controller to eliminate the extra receiver on your builds, this is how you do it. And um, I'm very happy with it. I'll show you some simulator footage real quick. Okay, I hope it's clear for you. But... Um you see the way my hands sit, they sit if you, uh, anybody that has a Tango 2, um, you can see the shape of the controller is very, very similar, if not identical. I don't have a Tango 2 anymore to uh, compare it to, but with these gimbal sticks, it definitely feels the same to me now. So anybody that has this controller that doesn't like the feel of it because of uh, the sticks, if you do this mod, it's going to make a big difference for you. So as you see, I can control the drone. It's very flyable for me now. Um, and you know, it made a world of difference once I made this, once I did this mod. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and, uh, please subscribe if you haven't. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.